Those things drop bullets too. That's random. Not really the item I was expecting to get. Yeah, I guess the, the ideal strategy for dealing with those things is to, like, just get super aggressive. So what's the deal with these enemies? Oh, they give you bloodstone chunks. That's neat. Pretty cool. Or frenzied cold blood. Um, Still haven't located this shortcut yet. Perhaps it's down over here. I don't know if I could... If, can I survive that drop? That looks kind of sketchy. I don't really like the, the way that that looks. I'm pretty sure that that area in general leads towards the boss. So, I don't know. Oh, never mind, it looks like I don't even have to drop down. I can just go this way. Oh, never mind, it's a drop. Drops me right back into the... Wow, this is fucked. Thanks, Bloodborne. You jerk-ass game. Quick, use the sedative. Oh, fuck. Alright. At least I got my sedative. Praise the Lord. What cool items we got in here, fellas? Dude, I don't have enough blood vials to explore. I can't do shit here. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna get my, uh... My Yosefka's blood vial ready. Here we go. That's gonna be my end-all, be-all. Yeah, things are getting a little bit trepidatious in the poison swamp here. I don't know. I really want to find the shortcut. I really want it, guys. I want the shortcut bad. I also want to kill some of these enemies, because I'm a stubborn jerk and I want the items. They drop good shit, so I, I can't just ignore it. Uh, the boss is over here. But, like, I never found the shortcut. So, what in Sam hell... I want to say that the shortcut is in this general neck of the woods, too. I really, I really do think that it is. So let's just keep looking around. I do not want to fight this boss before having found the shortcut. That would just be stupid. So we gotta keep looking. We gotta keep our, our hunting shoes on. Dude, there are so many of these things in this area. So many of them. There's like the big ones that drop bloodstone chunks, then there's the littler guys that drop garbage. Alright, have I been up this way yet? I think I have. What does this say? Fear trap? Yeah, this is where I fell. Where the hell is this shortcut? I guess if I don't find the shortcut, it's not really the end of the world, but... I would rather find it than not. Just don't really know which way to go at this point. I'm almost thinking about using a bold hunter's mark to go back to the beginning and then just start my my fresh search from there. I do need to go back to the hunter's dream anyway because I'm kind of like almost dead at this point. I'm running low on blood vials, that's for, for... God damn it, quit getting stuck on shit, you stupid jerk. That's one thing I don't like about this area. Is there a rock thrower somewhere? Oh shit, alright. Need to plan my next move carefully. Where is he? I see his shadow. I can see his shadow somewhere. He's getting closer to hitting me. I better I better figure out what I want to do here. I think I'm thinking I'm just gonna use a bold hunter's mark and like go back to the beginning of the area. I really don't remember where the fuck this shortcut is at. So, I didn't even mean to do that. Great. Alright then. Uh, Bold Hunter's Mark. Take me home. Country Roads. Let's go level up, get some stuff done at Hunter's Dream. And then we need to find the shortcut. I could always look up where it's at, but I don't want to... <laughs> I don't... The only thing I've had to look up so far is where to find the Tonsil Stone. Because I got tired of running around the Forbidden Woods like a chicken with my head cut off. So, Google was my friend there. Oh, wait, no, I used Google... No, not for the tonsil stone. I, I used it or I, I used it for that and the uh, Yosefka's clinic thing. Welcome. What is it? <clears throat> so, two things that I Very forgot well. that I needed to look up. I, I got one level up. Um, I might be able to get two level ups, actually. Farewell. Let's actually do some consumable action. Let's see what I got here. Frenzy Cold Blood. Um... Go ahead and use both of these too. 
There we go. It's definitely got to be Welcome. enough for two, right? Very well. All right, let's see. Uh, that's probably not enough for two, actually. Yeah. Farewell. Let's see if I can use the rest of what I got and pull some shit together here. Go ahead and use all those and use that. Should be good, maybe. Actually, that still might not be enough. Let's go sell something. Let's go sell the repeating pistol. That thing sucks. Uh, also, we can sell the rider polish. Dude, I have like a lot of expensive crap I can sell. Hold on. Let's go for the gold. Let's go for three level ups. Alright. I think I'm going to just go ahead and sell everything I'm not wearing. Black church stuff can go because we don't need it anymore. Uh, the white church stuff. Actually... I should probably keep some armor just for the sake of having stuff that's resistant. Uh, Graveguard stuff is resistant to poison. I should be using this in the poison swap. I really should. And in fact, I think I'll keep it just for that purpose. <clears throat> Actually, what the fuck? Why is the student stuff so poison resistant? Never mind, I'll just use the student shit. Goodbye, Graveguard stuff. Turns out I have no use for you after all. Uh, Crown of Illusions. I could probably sell this. Like, dude, look how expensive I can sell this for. Also, there's the Noble Dress. Um, I think there's some random use for this item, so I'm going to keep it. And um, t -t 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 Crown of Illusions. I'm going to sell it because we don't need it anymore. That was money in the bank right there. Um, I kind of want to keep a lot of these gemstones, too. Just because. Just because I, I might want to alter my weapon build somehow. Welcome. Anyway, we, we might have like, we should have like three level ups. Three of them, yep. Alright. Uh, let's go with... Let's get skill up to 30. Some more damage. Let's get some stamina. And let's get some more health. Looks good to me. Right, we went from level 69, <laughs> nice, to level 72. Hell yeah, baby. Farewell. All right. Let's just spend the rest of this money on some good old-fashioned blood vials or something. Uh, yes. Let's do that. Perfect. Let's go back to the good old Nightmare Frontier and locate this stupid shortcut that's been troubling me. And then we'll take on the boss. I really just... Oh, I'm trying to really think in the deepest reaches of my brain where this shortcut is at. Because I don't really think it's particularly hard to find once you're in the area that it's at. One of my notes got raided, yay! Alright, let's start our search from scratch. Shall we? Alright. So we gotta go... We gots to go... this way-ish. Also, I probably should have fixed my weapon at Hunter's Dream. I'll do that once I find the shortcut. If I... I really gotta remind myself to do that. My weapon hasn't broken yet, but eventually once the durability starts to get low, the damage kind of falls off a little bit. So even if your weapon's not fully broken, quote-unquote, it'll still do less damage if it's not like... if it's not really at full capacity. Or, you know, a certain threshold of capacity, I should say. This guy will give me some more bloodstone chunks, or... Oh, it's shards, I guess. Never mind. I was a fool to believe in quality loot. Alright. This is like... I probably like... I'm always trying to look at these to see if I could just drop down and survive. And that definitely looks like it'll probably kill me. But then again, it almost do it almost looks like I could survive that, doesn't it? Doesn't that look survivable? You can't tell me that doesn't look kind of survivable. Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah! oh dude, that sucks. <laughs> if only there was an item that reduces fall damage, like in uh, Demon Souls. Oh, I really thought I was gonna live. I felt like such a genius. <laughs> well. I guess they would kind of have to make it that way, otherwise everybody would, would just be ignoring that shortcut. Alright, well, for reals this time. How funny would it have been if that would have worked? 
In all honesty, it's probably funnier that it didn't work, but whatever. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go grab my souls though. I'm a greedy asshole, so even though it wasn't that many souls, you can call me Mr. Krabs because I'm taking them. Yeah, at this point in the game, 2,997 blood echoes really is not gonna make a difference in any way, shape, or form. Alright, I really gotta try to figure out which way I need to go to get this shortcut. Because I can't remember at all. So we'll just kind of retrace our steps a little bit. Piece by piece, brick by brick. I, I, like, <laughs> we're playing Minecraft now, I guess. Alright, have I been down here yet? There we go, this looks, this looks good. The shortcut is in some sort of, like, cavey area like this. I know that. Let's go back through here. This is where, this is what led us to the poison swamp, so let's go the other way now. I don't think I ever really went this way. I don't know, I feel like I went a lot of places in this area. I really do. Alright. So let me try to figure this crap out. I wonder why you can only carry seven antidotes at a time. Like, it makes sense that oh <laughs> it makes sense that you can't carry all of them, but you'd think you'd at least be able to carry like ten or something. I don't know. I'm being too nitpicky. Alright, what is over here? Does this lead to where the giants throw stuff at you? I don't even know. I don't know anything anymore. All I want is this shortcut. All I'm in it for. It's got to be in this poison swamp somewhere. It literally has to be. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The thing that was really stopping me from finding it the first time was the fact that I kept getting poisoned and I was running out of blood vials and that whole, that whole issue. But now we should be pretty much good. Ew, he threw up on me. Please don't poison me. Oh god, please don't kill me in general. Alright, uh, if I, if I, I should probably roll more. Like, if I roll, I could probably get through this area a little bit quicker. You there! Over here! Face me! Yeah, you little bitches. You pissed off that I killed your big brother? Oh, oh, oh my god, that damage, Batman. Why didn't you warn me about the damage? I'm still sitting at a decent bit of blood vials, at least. Oh yeah, I was gonna put on the student stuff for the, the poison resistance. I totally forgot about that. It's okay. You would have expected that from me. Me forgetting stuff. So it's a pretty common occurrence. Alright, well, yeah, we've already been through here, too. So, like, where the fuck is this shortcut? Like I said, at least I have more blood vials. So, I don't really have, like, a whole lot to worry about in that department. Let's go rolling back through here. Um... Put on the, uh... Wait, well, this has less resistance than what I have? Oh, okay, well, I guess... Alright, well, slow poison resistance. Executioner garb is pretty good. Um, white church garb is pretty good. Um, else? Really, like, nothing. Oh, that's just my chest stuff. Never mind, I'm being a goofus. Put that on. Let's put that on. And I'll put those on. Alright, now I'm a little bit more resistant to poison. Hopefully it doesn't take my health bar quite so much, and the bar will build slower in general. That's nice. And I'm already taking less damage from the poison, so... Switching armor was the right call, for sure. Dun -dun -dun. That bar still fills pretty fast, though. I like that. Where in Carmen San Diego is this shortcut? Kill this guy. 
was the Oh my god, I got a rock thrown at me and I'm dead. <laughs> Where did okay. This is this is amazing. This is amazing. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to look up where to find this shortcut. Because I, I can't find it. And I don't want to waste any more time just running around. Like, this is just getting ridiculous. This area is too confusing. Alright. You know what? I don't, I don't want to just stand still and whip my phone out. So let's just find it, hopefully. I am just going to start running past stuff, though. It's taking way too... Oh my god, I hate this area. <laughs> this, your character is just constantly getting stuck on shit. Please, gods of Bloodborne, bequeath me the legendary shortcut. That I'm having a real hard time finding. Real hard time. I might just say, like, fuck the shortcut and go fight the boss. Like, I feel like at that, at this point... Oh, god damn it. Son of a bitch. I didn't want to be down here. I wanted to go over there. Motherfuck. I gotta, like, go back up and around, which I really don't want to do. Ugh. I hate this area. This area just sucks. The terrain is just balls. Oh, yeah! All right. Now we're over here. What can I do over here? Grab this item. Fading Lake. What does that do? Oops. Fading Lake. Here we go. Just passed it. Wait, I thought I passed it. What in the fuck? Never mind, I'm tripping. It increases fire defense. That could be kind of useful for select situations. There's not really a whole lot of enemies in this game that... Okay, I take that back. There are quite a few enemies that do fire damage. I take that back. Stupid thing to say. Alright. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. Please give me a shortcut. Pretty sure I've already been over here too, and it definitely was not a shortcut. What does this say? Don't give up. Yep. Just a dead end with the item that we got earlier. Ugh. This area confuses me to my core. I... If I get stuck on one more random rock... I think I really will just pull my penis out and start sucking on it as hard as I can. And we all know I can't suck my own dick, but I'm going to make it happen. Just for you, Bloodborne. I'm going to suck my own dick. Alright, clear deep sea. Alright. see what that does when I'm not in a fight with Rocky McThrowington over here. Rocky McThrowington. That's what I'm going to call these guys. I sneak up on good old Rocky Mick Throwington. There we go. I'll see you in hell, buddy. Have fun down there. Yep, nice and dead. What does it say? Beware of dawn and remember night. <laughs> I don't know what he means, but it sounds cool, so I'll give him an appraisal. Sure. Alright. I still don't know where this shortcut is, though. We're, we're not out of the woods yet, unfortunately. We're still very deep into the woods. I, I really do think I'm probably going to have to look up where this shortcut is. Because I'm just not finding it. Dude, why am I stuck on these rocks? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I feel like, why is this giving me Fallout New Vegas vibes? Alright, we've already been through here, too. This is not a new area. Um, yeah, I really don't know where the shortcut is. I just can't make heads or tails of it. I simply can't. But at least here's like the boss area. So the shortcut has to be over here somewhere. Like, it literally has to. There's these dumbass like frenzy enemies that are gonna fuck me up. I don't really understand why they do damage after they die. You kill them and then your frenzy bar still fills up. I don't like... I don't understand why that's... Why you gotta be that way, Bloodborne. Are you trying to make me hate your game from software? Ugh. I'm just joking. I fucking... I love this game to pieces. This is where, we, where I fell down. Back to the poison swamp. 
Dude, where is this elevator? I would I would suck some serious nut to find this elevator. Like, please, for the love of all that is sanctimonious, somebody tell me where it's at. Looks like I can drop down over here. Yeah, what is all this? Ooh, alright. I might be onto something. Maybe. <laughs> We'll see. Quick, get up there. No, get up. Why can't I get up here? What the fuck? Okay, Bloodborne, sure. Yeah, that's legit. Is there... Dude, how come I can't get up here? Oh my god, this area. This area. Alright. My antidote, there we go. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. I made you out of clay. Shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. You're making me feel like I have to pay. Uh, is it up here? I don't think I've ever been up here yet. That was an item. Dude, the shortcut has got to be over here. This has got to be it. This has literally got to be it. Oh, yeah, get the fuck. You're dead. Um... Like a whole other little area to explore down there. But yeah, I think the sh yeah the shortcut. Yes, we found it. We have found it. Oh, I'm rock hard right now. Yes. All right. We did it, baby. We have unlocked the shortcut, which means I. <laughs> All right. Sure. I mean, I got the shortcut. Why the fuck not? Whew, alright. This is one of those times where... <laughs> that was like... Oh, that was perfect. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Alright. At least we have the shortcut, so... <laughs> let's just go fight the boss. We have nothing left to lose. Oh wait, I was gonna go fix my weapon. Let's go back to Hunter's Dream real fast and do that before I forget. Uh, how much do I get from, like, one of these? Alright, that should be enough to fix my shit. Maybe buy myself a little snack from the messengers. But yeah, let's just, uh, go take a little glory visit to the Hunter's Dream. Get some, some stuff fixed. Uh, I don't have any weapon upgrades to look forward to anymore, because, um... We need, we need Blood Rock now, and Blood Rock is like super duper rare. Super duper extra ultra rare. I might have some better Blood Gems though. I wonder like, should I try to put a Fire Gem on, on this thing? That could be kind of cool. Let's see, Tempering Damp Blood Gem, uh, Blood Attack, Thrust Attack, Fire Attack, here we go, Fire Blood Gemstone. Is this the best one that I have? Let's see. Warm Blood Gemstone. Oh, here, this one is pretty good. Fire Attack plus that. Plus 10.05. It's kind of all the same, actually. So, let's just go with whatever is highest here. This one. And what we got here, huh? Radiant Gemstone. Adds poison effect. Stamina cost, blah, blah, blah. More. F I'm just looking for, like, better Fire Attack. But if I can't find anything, I'll just go with higher Physical. All right, 135 works for me. In reality, our weapon is a lot higher than 135, but you know, well now our weapon does like a little tiny bit of fire damage. Probably not like a whole lot, but we'll see. We'll just we'll just have to see what the damage looks like when we get there. So let's go face off with the boss fight, and then we'll have to figure out what I want do from there I do not know we probably want to go back to Cathedral Ward and check in with NPCs and then after that we've got like um, another little side objective that I want to complete because I want to go back to the Unseen Village at some point so that I can grab the key that gets us into another area and then we'll pretty much be like done with the game at that point once we finish Nightmare of Mensis and 
Upper Cathedral Ward. I think those were the last two areas after this. So, yep. We done good. Also, I went the wrong way. I went... I went the wrong way, I did. Isn't it? Isn't it? Alright. Nice, creepy elevator. And my blood echoes are right there from when I died. Nice. Thanks, Bloodborne. Very cool. Yeah, this thing definitely does fire damage. That's pretty fucking sweet. That is pretty cool. Alright, the boss is across that bridge over there. We could pretty much just make a beeline right over there. This boss fight's really quick and easy to get to, at least. That's nice. I can appreciate that. Alrighty, then. Any notes? To warn me of my coming doom? No notes here. How are there no notes? What the fuck? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to step in here. Here, hold on, I'm gonna put the notebook on my my effects. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna write me a note. Uh let's see, uh remember time for yeah, let's see time for Um Giant Beast. Pretty much I mean that's pretty much what this is, but is there like a better word I can use? Time for like, uh, Kin of the Cosmos? Is that what... I think that's what, what she is. I think literally this boss is a Kin of the Cosmos. Use this. Time for Kin of the Cosmos. Perfect. I better get upvotes on that. If you don't give me all of your Reddit upvotes, I will seriously shit the bed. I will never play Bloodborne again. Anyway, we, nah, we need a spoiler, spoiler broken. Now we get to fight Amygdala. And she's pretty hard, and I would say one of the harder parts of this boss fight is the camera. No shit, the camera makes things pretty hard. Also, she's pretty tanky, even when you hit her in the weak spot. Her weak spot is, I think, her hands and kind of her, like, arm limbs, like right here. Now, we did an alright bit of damage there, but... Generally with this boss fight, I tend to not lock on a whole lot. Because sometimes it's just easier. Oh fuck. Alright, we gotta heal. Hit her in the hand, quick! Yes! Do that hand damage. I don't remember hitting her in the face does like any damage, to be honest. I know that hitting her in her like scrawny weird arms, ow. Does a good bit of damage of the level of damage that you want to actually win the fight. All right. Yeah, the camera is just like a, kind of an issue with this fight. It's hard to tell what she's doing and when. You just gotta kind of roll with it and hope for the damn that. Is she weak in the tail? Wow, her t <laughs> hitting her in the tail literally does like no damage. I don't think I did anything. Quick, hit her in the arm. Fuck. I should try hitting her in the face and see what that does. I'm really glad that one of my notes got raided, because my health got, uh, all the way refilled during the fight. That's amazing. Thank you, good sir, for raiding my notes. I really need- he, like, he got me during my time- oh, great, yeah. As you can see, now she's ripped her arm off, and she's using her arm as a weapon. Kind of like the, uh, the last giant boss in Dark Souls 2. Holy shit, dude, my frames are dropping like a motherfucker. Oh my god, she's doing an AoE, isn't she? I don't even remember if this boss has an AoE. Oh my god. I'm assuming she probably does. Hit her in the crotch. There we go. We'll just finish her off this way. Oh no. That was bad. Dude, this boss has done, like, no damage to me. And she's dead. Goodbye, Amygdala. Dude, I had to heal, like, tw like twice. Oh, she's not even dead yet. Never mind. I thought she was dead. Sorry. <laughs> She needed, like, two more hits. And now we got the Ailing Lauren, or Loran Chalice. Another word I can't say. And it's raining. It's like raining black ash. Alright. Well, down goes Amygdala. That fight was way easier than I remember. Like, way, way, way easier than I remember. But I guess maybe it's probably because I've played the game before and I knew how to beat her already, so... That probably explains it. Anyway, Amygdala is one of the major bosses, so now that we've killed her, uh, the world is going to change again. We, The moon is going to shift, just like uh, just like it did with the, I think, the One Reborn. 
So let's go back to the hunter.